Hi Kirby fans, so today what we're going to be doing is checking out my latest pickup. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate, slap that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss the upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so in today's episode, what we're going to be doing, we're going to check out a pickup. It's going to be a bit of a surprise. Yes, I have got one already, but this one actually came up and it is absolutely, in my opinion, it's pretty mint. Uh, it's got a little bit of corrosion, but for what I paid for it, it was a little bit high, but I got what I wanted. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Right, so as you can see, I've picked up another Avalia 100. Um, like I said, I did pay a little bit more for this than I actually wanted. But apart from the corrosion, it looks in a really, really good condition. What we'll do is quickly zoom in and I have washed the bag and I have vacked it out. And I'll put a clip up showing you the reason why. So I'll show you the condition of the bag and then we'll jump straight into what we actually got and what we've actually got with the Avalia one and the condition of it. So I'll just jump in and show you what the bag looked like before I actually cleaned it out. Right, so I've took the bag off just so you can see the damage that these non Kirby bags are doing. Now, when I started this up, I obviously unzipped it to vac it out and uh, the bag flew off. And I will show you what the difference is. But you can see all the dog hairs have all come in because the bag's not sealing properly. So another reason why is you use original Kirby bags. Right, so I've started vacuuming this out with a zip brush, um, but I can't get them all. But you can see, if I show you, look at all the hairs and everything. I'm going to vacuum all this out and then before I'll put it in the washing machine. But look at all that. And that's purely because of using non Kirby bags because they come off, they don't seal properly or they fly off, which I will demonstrate after. So there you go. That's what you end up with doing to your, your vacuum. You've paid two and a half, three thousand dollars for. And then you go and buy bags off eBay. Go figure. Right, so what we actually got, we got the Avalia 100 edition. It came with a hose. The hose is absolutely unused. It came with a zip brush as well. That totally unused zip brush. And most of the tools are unused. So what we'll do is quickly zoom in and see what we actually got. Right, so when I picked it up, we got a stretchy hose. So a stretchy hose came with it. I'm assuming that's the scent old century or one. Um, I'm not too sure if Kirby still make these. Uh, but I per will put a, try and put a link in the description below of where you can actually get these from. They are a good tool, really, really good. Obviously, you can't use it with the zip brush because as it stretches, it obviously needs more suction and the zip brush won't spin. It's a bit like using a zip brush with the dirt meter on. So we've got the hose. Now the hose, you can see, it's never been used, absolutely mint. Now, th what happened with this Kirby was this, actually, the lady bought it and then it's been stored for three years. They had a house built, a um, smaller house, and she said it was too big for her. So I don't know why people do that, but they do. Now, obviously I haven't cleaned anything other than the bag. So we've got this tool here. This has got to be cleaned out. You know, it's all gunged up and manky. So I'm gonna get all these clean. Um, and this will all be happening in the next video. And it will be a time-lapse video showing you how we get it all cleaned up and get it all polished up and looking new. And there'll be a following video with it being polished and all assembled. So we've got the floor tool. Again, like I said, if people just vat these out as they use them, it would end up all gunged up. It came with the shampoo system, and that's never been used. Um, obviously the handle. Intake valve. Then we've got the zip brush. So again, barely been used I think it's probably been used once or twice she did have a dog and I will show you the issue I had with the bag from her having a dog and it was purely because she used non Kirby bags and I don't know why I mean the, ho the ho poles need to be a little bit clean but they're not that disgusting that's never been used never been used that's never been used it's still got the belt on from when Kirby made it because Kirby always put the belt spare belts around there when they deliver it and people always forget and uh, never take it off. I mean, I store more around it anyway, just to keep the brush roll. Just keep the brush nice and straight. The crevice tool, again, that's been used a little bit. 
worn and sealing brush. That's still clean. Never been used. And then obviously your, your original upholstery tool. So it came with all those tools. Um, I'll just show you the shampoo system it came with as well. Um, all this is going to go into clean, obviously. Most of it wasn't used, but it'll just be the odd few bits that need cleaning. And obviously the Kirby will need cleaning itself. So the shampoo system is there. Oh, not like this. Okay, so the shampoo system it came with. She had used the shampoo system, and again you can see a few dog hairs there. But other than that, it's it's been used probably once, if that. And that's all in there, as you can see. Like so. So it came with the full shampoo system and all the tools. Just trying to slide that back in. It goes in there, in there. And that goes in there. So what we'll do now is just quickly zoom in on the Kirby and I'll show you the condition of the Kirby. All right, so with the Kirby, obviously we've got all this corrosion here. Like I said, it was stored and you can see it's really, really bad, uh, the corrosion there. We've got some on the handle here. So obviously it's gotta be stripped down. The head, portable head's not too bad. So the portable head obviously is a bit shiny here, a little bit of corrosion there. But that's actually not too bad. Now the brush roll, surprisingly is as new I, mean, I don't think that's even turned you know there's not even a mark on it <laughs> so that's never been used i think she's just used it with the hose but even the hose is clean so i don't know how she's actually used it if she has she must have used it on straight suction because obviously there's a few dinks on the bumper there but the brush roll hasn't even got a rubber mark on it We'll just slot that back together okay so the fans just a little bit dusty in there I mean I won't know until I actually take it apart but it all looks pretty mint um, as we turn around there's a little bit of damage here just on the outer side of the bag it's the only way to get that repaired would be to actually change the bag or find some way of re-welding that but you know I can't see that being an issue now the bag what she actually used with the bag, and she used these generic ones that don't even fit. So when I actually got this, I literally plugged it in, started it up, and I wanted to vac check the bag, and the bag was all full of hair. So I thought, what I'll do, I'll leave it open, and I'll vac it out. So as I started it up, this was actually hooks on there, but because it's a generic bag, when you flip that over, it doesn't actually hold, it just pops up. So obviously I've started it up, and that just, pfft, blew straight off at me. Uh, so again, um, I will put a link in the description of where to buy original Kirby bags. Don't buy these ones. You only get what you pay for. And obviously, these weren't working because they were blowing off in the bag and then all the dog hairs were actually going in. I mean, there's still a few dog hairs in there that I couldn't actually get rid of. Um, I don't know if you can, yeah, there you go. So you can see them here. Got a few dog hairs. Literally because she'd used none specific Kirby bags and just use your cheap generic ones. Now these actually came from, let me show you on camera, that's where that actually came from. So if I was you, um, that's just a bit of advice. That's what you're gonna get and they're gonna blow off. So it's all entirely up to you whether you order them from there, but I wouldn't. In your best interest to actually use the original Kirby bags that actually come with the Kirby. Now there are links in the description below where you can actually get those from and you'll get them a lot cheaper than you will from Kirby. Now the wheels, there's no wear on those wheels whatsoever. So she must have had very soft carpets because there's nothing, nothing at all. It's just a bit of dust from storage. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in and we'll get it on the test meter. I'm gonna run a CFM test on it just to see what airflow it's got now. And then in the following video, after we've refurbished it, we'll run another airflow test and see what we get after it's all been refurbed. So for this, this demonstration, we're going to be using original Kirby bags. So I'm going to be putting one of these in, not the actual generic bag. So I'll just pop that in. Right, so we just turn on the airflow meter. And we want to set that to max. Go. 
Right, so headphones, just turn them down. This is with the brush roll on, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so that's saying 121.17 CFM with the brush roll running. So now we'll try with the brush roll off. Reset that. Okay, so headphones, you just turn them down. saying 125.44 CFM. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it really informative. Again, like I said, there is links in the description below for all your Kirby needs and there's plenty of videos on here for all your Kirby needs as well. So what we're going to do in the next video, a bit of a time lapse, so we're going to get that Kirby cleaned up, washed. So you, in the next video, you'll see it all taken apart and stripped down by a time lapse and then we'll have a video of it all cleaned up and then we're going to run a CFM test as it's all erected back together and see if we've got it working as new condition. Again, those of you new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like your comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll cut to the bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, so what um, so what we'll do I will cut to the bloopers and I'll, I'll put a clip up showing you the reason why um, I've pre-recorded the, the right so what we actually got obviously we've got the Avalier one we've got all the tools in the caddy we've got the shampoo system 